Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSlyShop.com Bringing you another fly today. This one's a streamer pattern and uh, it's a really cool one. It's actually a classic old Don Bastian pattern and um, if you don't know who he is, you need to look him up. He ties a lot of the classics, classic wet flies and classic streamers and is just an incredible tire. And uh, you know, he has some cool patterns and this is one of them. This is the Red Squirrel Picket. Uh, sorry, Red Squirrel Silver Picket, and it's a very cool looking classic streamer using some Fox Squirrel, and um, it's not easy, uh, sorry, it's not hard to tie, it's actually very easy to tie, and it's a nice streamer that you're going to get easy results from, so, and it's going to catch fish too, it's flashy, it's natural colors, it'll catch you fish, so, uh, have fun tying this, practice with it. If you don't have fox squirrel, use gray squirrel. It's going to work too. And um, whatever squirrel tail you got. And also, I'm going to use some gold oval tinsel in this. The original calls for silver, but I didn't have any, so I used gold. Fish aren't going to care. Okay, that's the thing with fly tying. Use what you have. And that's one of the things that I stress a lot in my videos. Use what you have. You don't have to have exactly what the original pattern calls for. Something might work better in your area, you know. The original patterns work for a reason, but a different color or a different shade or something might imitate something better in your area. So, you know, mix and match. Stick with the pattern, but mix and match on your colors and have fun tying, guys. That's what it's all about. Have fun. Uh, here you go. You're going to see a picture of the fly and the material list to tie it. Alright guys, here we see the flying device, let's get into tying it. Very cool, classic style, wet fly streamer, and uh, let's start tying. So for a hook, we're going to use a firehole barbless hook here. This hook is a firehole 839 in a size 8. The thread I am using is going to be 140 denier rusty brown. We're just going to get it started on there. And then I'm going to put some size 12, number 12, um, gold, silver, mylar tinsel on. And I'm going to wrap it with the silver side against the hook. So the gold side is sh showing up. And I'm going to wrap it down the side closest to me. And I'm going to take this back here and I want to stop right before it starts to bend. That's where I want to stop everything at. And the next thing I'm going to do is some French oval tinsel. This is medium gold. Um, if you have silver, silver's great. Silver's the original. But it'll look just as good, just as cool in gold. So I'm going to run this down the other side because it's going to build up a little bit of body. And I don't want to get in the way of the tail here, which is next. So now that I got that on there, just cover that up nice. And we're going to come back here and put our tail on. For the tail, I'm just using a brown hackle fiber. Um, any kind of brown hackle will work. And we're just going to tear off a fair amount here. We're going to get a nice sized tail on there. And pinch it all together. Try to keep them all the same length. We're going to set this down. I want it to be about the length of the hook shank there. Get this tied on. And I don't want it to go past the roll of the hook here because I don't want it to roll down over the side. So that's good. We're going to bring our thread up here about an eye and a half maybe. And now I'm going to start wrapping my tinsel up. And I'm going to wrap it so the gold side's up, or sorry, the silver side is up. And make sure I cover everything so it's all silver here and no brown thread shows through. So if you got to go back over it, that's fine. So, so get this wrapped the whole way up there, and then we'll tie it off once we get there. 
Okay. It's got kind of a big head to it, so you got to go back just a little bit further than you might with some other streamers. Alright, now we're going to run our um, oval tinsel up here. I'm in nice even spaces. And then we're going to tie it off. So that looks nice there. Alright. Now, next thing I want to put on here is the collar on this. For the collar, I'm going to go back to this brown feather again. And we're going to make a pretty nice size collar. Again, try to keep them all the same length. Pinch them all together. And we're going to put this right underneath here. Make sure it stays on the bottom. I'm just going to wrap that back right to that tinsel. And try to pull that down there a little bit. It's almost like a, a weed guard kind of effect is what you're looking for on it. Like imagine your bass flies and you want that to be a weed guard and holding that. Of course it's not, but that's what you're in essence looking for. Next thing we're going to use is a squirrel tail. This is a fox squirrel tail. You see this is the bottom side of the tail. It's all orange here. The top side has some of the, the natural skin color to it. We're going to take off this top side. It doesn't take a whole lot here. It's going to take a nice little clump of it. Trim it out. And then we're going to pull out the fluff here at the bottom, which there's not going to be a whole lot. But then I want to stack it. So I'm going to put it in my hair stacker. And this will just make it nice and tight and get all the ends nice and even. Okay, after I get that stacked up, we're going to pull it. You're going to see all the tips lined up there. I'm just going to pinch them tips. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it right above my fly. And I want it to go just, to, just shy of the length of the tail. And to do this now, I'm going to put one wrap. Oops. I'm going to put one wrap around the wing of this fly, the squirrel. And then I'm going to go around the bot or the hook. This is going to keep it on the top. And it's going to keep it nice and centered up there. Now we're going to trim this off at a nice sharp angle. So it smooths out my head. And I get a nice taper to my head here. And then the last thing I'm going to put on is some peacock curl. So I'm just going to take two strands of peacock curl. Oops, there we go. And I'm going to tie two strands on here. I'm going to tie it in by the tip end, but I'm going to go back a, a little bit. Get into a little bit stronger feather there. Trim that off. And we're going to just wrap this forward. You can do it with one if you want. I would like to do it with two, make it a little bit fuller. And just wrap it forward to get right up there behind the eye. Don't make this too big and crowd it. And then you're just going to come in, make a nice little wet finish head on it. And you're done with this awesome fly. I've been saying here recently that my goal this year is to swing more wet flies. And I'm going to add some streamers into that. And uh, this is what I'm going to be trying. So... Hopefully you will too. It's a very cool looking classic fly, a Don Bastion fly. And I uh, hope you like it guys. There it is, very easy to tie. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that fly. It wasn't, uh, didn't take a lot of time to tie it. And you got a really cool looking result from it. And you know, it's a beautiful old classic pattern, which I like. My wife says I'm older than my true age. You know, I enjoy tying the old classic patterns. Um, you know, especially the wet flies. And this is a, a streamer, which is very close to a wet fly. Fish the same. And um, it's a lot of fun to fish streamers because like, just like wet flies, we always say they come with a built-in strike indicator. You know when you get a hit on it, it's going to fish is going to smack it. So 
have fun tying, guys. That's what this is all about. Um, thanks for your ideas in one of my recent videos, my CDC uh, deer hair. No, sorry, not my CDC. My deer hair caddis tied with the Swiss CDC clamp. You know, you guys gave me a lot of great, um, great ideas there. I'm going to be sharing some of them with you. And uh, one of them was a picket pin. I had a lot of guys say they love fishing a picket pin. And I haven't fished a picket pin. And, you know, it's a generic, it's a great generic pattern, has worked for years. And, uh, but I looked up the picket pin just so it refreshed my memory on what it was. And I found this pattern. And uh, I thought, oh, it's a Don Bastion fly. I love Don Bastion flies. So I'm going to tie it. And I had a great time tying it. And I hope you enjoyed it too. So. Any of the material you need to tie it, you can find it at the shop at holsingerslyshop.com. And until next week, guys, until I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.